What's going on guys, my name is Jack. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. I produce daily content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money Make a video. Subscribe now if that sounds interesting to you. Today we're getting straight into it. Uh, right here is basically gonna be an After Effects tutorial. I rarely do After Effects tutorials, but uh, I should do more of them, honestly. I, I actually used After Effects way before I even used Premiere, funny enough, because I was I was doing it wrong. <laughs> I literally, I was, I was young and I didn't really understand what was going on, so I just thought, After Effects, why would I waste time with Premiere? I'm gonna go straight to After Effects, the one that's more powerful, not realizing they both kind of serve different purposes. But, uh, you know, obviously I developed and uh, you know I'm entirely self-taught, so that's one of the things that happened. You make a little mistake like that, right? So I was using After Effects for years before I even started using Premiere Pro. Very funny story actually about that. But without further ado, we're gonna be doing a how to animate logos easily in, in, in After Effects. It's super, super simple. Basically, if you didn't know, that's essentially a really, really simple way to do this. That uh, gives you loads of behaviors and presets and type of stuff that you can literally just apply within like one or two clicks to your logo, your text, anything basically. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in After Effects, which is on my screen right now. And uh, more or less what we're gonna be doing is doing this with a logo, but as I just said, Oh, I bumped my desk. You can do this with text. You can do this with, uh, you know, just a video. You can do this with anything. All right. So basically, we're going to be jumping into that. All right. Um, so more or less on screen right now is After Effects. Uh, and basically, uh, I, all you got to do is import your logo, right? So I've got my logo right here, PNG logo 2017. Now it's 2019, but this logo was made in 2017. Well, this is the logo for my production company. A little bit outdated now. We should probably get a re- uh, you know, uh, well, I, I guess to be honest, to, to have a logo for two years isn't actually that outdated if you're, you know, playing a long game. But, you know, uh, fucking Coca-Cola, they had their logo for ages, McDonald's, all type of shit like that, you know what I mean? So you kind of want to keep a logo staying around for a little while at least, create some consistency. But on screen is the logo that we're going to be doing it to today. And all we actually want to do is anima uh, to animate this is simply select the layer we want to animate. We know that by clicking it and obviously it pops up with our construction lines or whatever at the top and literally go to animation up here, apply animation preset. That's right. And uh, basically all we want to do is essentially go to After Effects 2019 user presets. No, nah, no, nah, nah, my bad. Not user presets. Video libraries. No, 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 no. Where, where the fuck are we done? We're in OneDrive. What the hell are we doing in OneDrive? All right, we, we seem to have been dislocated pretty badly. Two seconds. Let's go here, not to users. Let's go down to program files. Let's go to Adobe. Let's go to Adobe After Effects support files. And uh, let's actually go down here to doo -doo 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 presets. There we go. Boom. Just like that presets. That was actually good. Like when, back, when things go wrong on a tutorial, that's good because likely things aren't going to go perfect for you when you're doing it. And then if the tutorial went perfect, your thing doesn't. And you're like, what the fuck's wrong with my computer? That used to happen to me all the time where the person teaching the tutorial would just do this seamlessly. It would be perfect. And then for me, I'd be having to troubleshoot all sort of stuff. So I'm glad that happened right there. We had to actually go find where it's at, which is in the presets of the support files under your actual, uh, you know, Adobe program essentially. And then you've got all these options, right? All these inside have presets which you can by one click attach to your logo or your uh, text, whatever you want to attach to, right? Do I have some water around here? Two seconds. Mm -hmm. So the ones that are the coolest for a logo, in my opinion, right? I don't know what's going to be cool for you. Any of these could be cool for you. They're all applicable. But the ones that are super cool for intros of logos is the transitions movement. So if I click that, what we've got is all these different descriptions of different movements, right? So zoom wobbling, zoom spiral, zoom bubble, all these are really cool. Zoom wobbling is very cool. Let's just apply that one first just to see what happens. So you notice our logo's gone, right? Holy shit, what have we done wrong? Nothing. Click play and bada bing, bada boom, you've just animated a logo within two seconds. You know what I mean? So that's a zoom wobble. Uh, we could press control Z to undo that or command Z to undo it. Um, or, you know, literally fucking go up here and just press, you know, undo, right? But that's just a shortcut. And uh, it's taking the animation off. So we can go back into animation. We can go to apply animation preset. And we can start looking at some other ones, right? So slide swoop. Let's have a look at that. Boom. That's going to just essentially slide in off screen. And uh, the way I would do this, guys, is literally just look for the one that, you know, uh, represents your brand the best basically, right? So there's all sorts of different ones um, that you could obviously use and uh, some of them look kind of corny, some of them look good, some of them look some of them look terrible, who knows, right? 
Um, but at the end of the day, what I would probably do is actually make a composition that is a uh, sort of a normal size. So right now we're operating on this random cust uh, composition. Let's actually just make a 1920 by 1080p. So you know, just normal uh, composition, right? Let's throw the logo bang there, right in the center. So we can see this happen a little bit more. I just want to see a little bit more of the animation from the sides, right? And then if I go ahead and do a slide drop, give this a play. That's just going to literally drop it into place. Again, I'm just control undoing it as I go. Stretch and slide. Cool. So that's looking pretty interesting, right? Um, and literally what I would do is this. Just go through them, guys. Now that you know the method, right? Go through them. And uh, all these are just preset animations, right? And, uh, you know, the, the background's obviously transparent uh, as long as your logo is transparent. So you could just export this and have it as like a cool intro stinger or something, right? Um, and basically, you could use all of these. Now, those are the best ones in terms of just movement, right? You've got some wipes and some dissolves as well. So we could check some of these out, right? Maybe like a paint on. Let's have a look at this. So that's actually just painting it on. That's kind of cool, right? We could utilize something like that. And, uh, you know, there's literally infinite stuff. There's more or less something for everything that you want it for. Again, th these are a little bit more basic, a little bit more amateur, but I think uh, they might be perfect for what you're doing as well. So let's let's just keep keep cracking on, honestly. I think, you know, you've got options like this to animate it. That right there is like a bad TV warp. So that's kind of cool. That's literally added some grain, some kind of movement to it as if it was a, a weak TV signal. You got these kind of light leaks. Let's have a look at what this is, right? Some of them do absolutely nothing because they're just built for a different type of uh, type of layer, right? So it looks like that one's one of the ones that do absolutely nothing. Um, cracked tiles, we could try that. So that's literally just cracked tiles moving around. And you, you're starting to get the point. Basically, everything could be done by simply importing a logo, drag, drop, going up here to animation, go to apply animation preset. And that right there is literally how you animate a logo just like that, in two seconds, absolute seconds. Some of them don't work. Some of these VFX ones just literally straight up do not work. The night vision one, a little bit creepy, to be honest. Uh, it's kind of messed up our logo, if anything, not really uh, improved it. And uh, basically that's it. You import it, you drag and drop some of these, uh, some of these presets, right? And um, then you crack on, you render it, you could, you, you could create yourself all sorts of different versions of this, right? And I'm literally just trying to remember as I as I use these, right? Because I haven't used these in a while. And uh, I'm trying to remember which ones were pretty solid. You got the the, uh, the dissolves. That's relatively good. So dissolves are, are kind of useful. The dissolves are nice because they can kind of be blended into more or less any project you're working on. A good dissolve, as long as it's not too, you know, too cheesy, can definitely be used in, uh, in most stuff. Whereas something as kind of in your face as a one of those movements couldn't necessarily be incorporated into everything, right? Like a spiral like that, that's pretty in your face. That's pretty animated, right? Which is perfect for some projects, cartoonish projects, maybe more, uh, not, not, not even amateur, maybe just kid type of stuff, right? Um, or with a younger demo demographic or just literally a sp specific scene that you're going for. But uh, they are a little bit in your face. A lot of the time, you know, the subtlety aspect of, uh, of animating a logo on is pretty cool as well. Um, but honestly, I would just advise you guys to download, well, not even download anything, my bad, literally. I would advise you to just import your logo and just start going through these uh, these animation presets, find the one that's good for you. I've been demonstrating stuff right here just so you can actually get an idea of the different uh, possibilities, right? And we're literally just clicking on random stuff at this point. In fact, that one right there, if, if you hate your logo and you're telling the designer to redo it, just add this to it. It'll turn your logo into some, some fucking green... Stuff looks like it's coming out the end of Lord Palpatine's nails. Lord Palpatine, did you fucking create this effect right here, buddy? I'm pretty sure Lord Lord Palpatine had the old uh, the green the green electricity. I'm pretty sure it was right. So that's clearly some Lord Palpatine effect right there. Uh, we got the orange street. Like this shit will just turn our logo <laughs> into random stuff. This is not what you want right here. Let's be real. You obviously don't want that stuff, but I'm you know it's, it's an opp opportunity to create this stuff right here. Look at this. What? It's just taking our logo and just mashed it up into some complete other stuff. But you can see right here, this is this is it. You know, this, this is all the opportunities that you've got to mess with stuff. That one right there is going to take our logo. It's going to turn it into a meme, complete meme. Just fucking nuts. Turn the whole thing nuts. More or less, that right there is the video done and dusted, guys. All you got to do is import your logo. You got to go up here to animation and you got to actually... Put whatever weird animation you even want on there. As you've seen, there's some very strange ones. And 
<laughs> there's also some awesome ones as well. But that right there is the video done and dusted, guys. Um, if you're watching this video right now, make sure that you go watch the video that released the other day, which was a day in the life of a YouTuber. I don't have the exact title. I'm thinking it's day in the life of a YouTuber, right? Um, because this right here is going to be a clip that's inside of it. That's right. This clip that you're seeing right here. Uh, what's what's going on? How you how you guys doing? I'm basically I'm on another video over here, you guys. And uh, I basically just telling them to go watch this vlog that we're creating right here because it'll already be out by the time that this video that I'm making right here hits YouTube. That's how we're doing it, people. We're creating so much content. I'm creating content documenting me creating content. And um, hell yes, guys, we've just finished that other video I was telling you about. And uh, bada bing, bada boom. Thank you guys for tuning into the video. Thank you guys for tuning into the vlog. Take it easy.